Members of the U.S. Air Force performing final checks on a B-1 bomber on Friday, shortly before more than 105 missiles were dropped on Syria by American, British and French forces. The strikes targeted three sites allegedly tied to the Syrian government's chemical weapons programs. But two days later, the arguing continues over whether the military action was legal and justified. France's prime minister holding a roundtable discussion with a group of politicians. Many are upset that no parliamentary debate was held before President Emmanuel Macron authorized the strikes. Similar concerns are being aired across Britain. Foreign Minister Boris Johnson says there's a good reason why the military action happened without parliamentary approval. Obviously, our prime consideration has to be the safety of our serving men and women and, of course, the effectiveness and, uh, and uh, speed of the operation. And uh, there's plenty of, of precedent for getting it done in this way. Footage aired on Syrian state TV shows President Bashar al-Assad meeting with Russian lawmakers in Damascus. Assad reportedly calling the missile strikes on his country an act of aggression. <laughs> The strikes were in response to an alleged chemical attack in the city of Doma that killed up to 70 people last weekend. Aid groups claim hundreds of others were left foaming at the mouth and gasping for breath. Both Syria and Russia deny using chemical weapons. U.S. Senator Angus King, who sits on the Armed Services Committee, says a line was likely crossed. Chemical weapons have been essentially illegal worldwide for over 100 years since World War I. They've been used occasionally, but that really is a red line for most of the world. So going in to take out chemical weapons capacity, which is what this strike was all about, is, is arguably uh, uh, within our national interest and, and justified. Syria's deputy foreign minister met with members of a global chemical weapons watchdog in Damascus this morning. The team is hoping to reach Doma to determine once and for all whether or not chemical weapons were indeed used.